Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. What's up guys? Co Sam here. You know where we are? Check out behind me. We come to try to do our kayak mission today. Actually we're supposed to go fishing. Yeah, I can't say last minute. I had all the gears pack up in the car. I say, well, I'm gonna come out and spend our tours and try and catch a fish. I have not eaten a saltwater fish in a long time. So, the goal is to get some fish to carry them and cook. Snapper number one, salmon, beaching, anything edible we take in. I have no fish in the freezer. I haven't fished in a long time. Hopefully, I'll do a video soon to explain everything that's going on. But hopefully, I can snack up a fish today to carry them and eat. Kayak mission. We go in. Three, two, one. Oh yeah, we're gonna catch bait first. So the plan first, gonna spend about 15-20 minutes if I catch some live bait. Hello day in the kayak. Water looking fairly calm. Weather looking low back ass, but we're gonna try them. A couple hours to catch a couple of fish. Fish on. Alright guys, I was just walking. So I school a real nice size mullet. Didn't have time to put on the, the camera. Felt the net and I get a couple. I get a couple. These real nice bait for some big fish. Look at the tilapia, what kind of fish is it? Can't be tilapia, it's all about it. I get one. It is tilapia in salt water. Do you like see in here, right? This is tilapia in salt water in the ocean. Okay, this is crazy. This is past crazy. This is a tilapia. I just caught it in the sea. I mean, I know they can live in brackish water. That's crazy. I guess I'm on a small fish too, that is why I'm off the beat. This guy looks like a grunt of some sort. Now, here are a couple of these grunts, they gotta go for beat. Quite a fish, actually. I get other fish, I will release these. I don't know what they are, looking like pinfish. Hermit crab.
Now set up small fish there again. The same kind of grunt. Open fish. Catch a few more of them. Taking anything we get. Where are they going? No sense man. Sir, I fish in here. I always take I used to go right by the kayak center, right? I just catch bait here all the time. I never know about that. Two years. No problem. Yeah, well, once you tell me that, I go on. I now get you in trouble because you're a nice young lady. I don't get you in trouble. So I go on back on that side there, right? But I apologize. I'll write to CD and tell them the public signs of no fishing so you don't get in trouble that next time. No Thank, you. Thank you. Yes, take care. You too. Well, boy, you're real baby. I can't throw my net. So, what are we going to do now? That sucks. Hi guys, if you're watching the channel, we always throw net on our side up down to the end. We don't have an official sign, but the security got them, I can't throw net there. I don't bear rules, right? So trying to get explanation, but it's minor matters. We have a few baits. I'll go walk along the side, see if I catch a few more. And go fishing. Let's listen to the rules. No fishing on the boardwalk, guys. Not even throwing net. Fish on. Hi guys, after getting chased from over there, I came across here, made a few throws, I catch about six or seven of those same kind of drunk type. Not sure that I spin fish, you know. So I'm taking one more throw and we're heading out. A lot of the catch bait on the side. I walk out a little bit into the water to reach the grass. See if I get three more. Give it to go. You feel any grass when you're pulling up in there. Seeing some fish in there. You're good at it. There's one fish, one bleach. Alright, we're good to go. Alright, so that's the live bait we have here. Two nice big mullet, a tilapia in the salt water, and some of these pinfish slash grunts. Check this up because this is actually a hermit crab. Can't really see him he inside there. Don't let disturb him too much, I'm gonna release him. Should have seen him come out, but. What we gonna do? I'm gonna put him on this step right here. So we can finally come back and see if he's still there. Alright, guys, I'm about to head out now. Took about an hour to catch bait after I get around from over there, but I got some small grunts. A couple more left, I chopped them up. I had to forget my knife, so I bought Uncle Knife, chopped them up. Heading out now for two hours. Get something to eat. You see how it goes? Hopefully, not too much catfish. Catch out there. Fish on. Okay, guys, so we're finally on the water. It is crystal clear, surprisingly, after all that rain. I see I'm supposed to go out in the boat today to look for carry. But bad weather. But this water is like super clear, boy. Wow. There's the sun. So, you know, species will be limited here. I just dragging the light bit behind me. <laughs> Alright, so I have limited battery life. I have one battery to use today. So I'm gonna head out there as quick as possible and start fishing. Two hours to catch a decent fish. Got a wedding going on there or something. 
Sun come out blazing. Launch from there. Water real nice right now. Alright guys, you know the drill, efficient to run in lines with live bait. This is the only flinch I get trained out one time because he come out first. Um, then I will pull the bank line with the cut mullet. So we're using live bait and the cut mullet. I have some old shrimp. I believe in our bag there and some extremely rotten Joshua. That is just so fresh. Let me see what happened. Let me see some fish out here besides catfish. Uncle Thomas some fellas come out here saying they only catch catfish. That is why I hesitant to use the um, shrimp hunting right off the bat. Something took the, the chunk of mullet on the bank in mine, guys. Oh my god. Can't believe that fish got away. Big bite, boy. Oh, like a wrap up here, it could be an eel. Damn it. It's a hard bite. But reality, the chunk of mullet a little big for these hooks. That was a decent bite. Alright, I'm gonna go back down. Something took the live bait here, guys. The blinch. Pull in real hard. The one blinch I get. I was holding the rod. Cast that kick off out of it. You see where it is. Snapperish so far. I forget to bring a string as usual. But what is that? Looking like a snapper. Oh yes, a big snapper. <laughs> yes. yes yes fish to eat inside i got my lunch for today beautiful lean snapper aka waliak on the live beat All right, guys. Nine. We go with a fifteen. Nine. Fifteen to sixteen inch. Hook right in the corner. Hey, 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 hey! Calm down, there, buddy. You ain't going nowhere. So I figured where to put you. Hey, perfect hook set, boy. Perfect start. Perfect hook set. The only thing is, I know place to put him, but we we'll go figure that out. We we'll go figure that out. Is at least how we problems. Right in the perfect spot in the mode. Hard spot in the mode. I know where he was going out. Going to bite out more. Yes. What a start, guys. What a start on the kayak. Beautiful lane snapper. He has gone down my foot for now. I mean. That's the only place I have right now. I'm gonna figure out what to do. Let me just throw back out this line. One inside, guys. One inside. I'm gonna show you best, better better just now. I have an idea what I could do with them.
something tackling the mullet, something small. Throw back out this one, we'll see about that. Stick that fish just now in the back of the tea right here. We try this little grunt now. Live bait is working. Alarm to catch a fish already going off. Fish in the boat, guys. Alright guys, I see them there on the Kosem fish grips. Kosem. Some of them come a few this now guys. Nice waliak, nice flame snapper, redfish. 15 to 16 inches. He will eat real good. Must you a game on a stringer. Continue fishing. Fish on. Something still playing with a small rod since the start of this to be somewhat. I think I hook it. Feeling small though, you know? Elgato-ish. That's what it is on the on the rope. Worst possible thing. So with that, I'm gonna do what I was thinking about doing, which is I'm gonna put some live bait on the banking line and let it soak. Get out with this fish. Can you wrap up in this rope. Thing? Okay. We was on this for a while. Sorry, bro, but I really need to get back my hook. My God, big dog in the back. Hopefully, I have no backlash from that. Small waves of like nothing too bad. This catfish mess me up on this rope, anchor rope on the next hook. Go on, yes. Way so that is being. All right, so I think the best bet for me might have a chop on stuff on the tire wall. Alright guys, a quick update there where we are fishing for about 45 minutes now. Still just the one nice lane, the first fish we catch. Thought we was in for a rocket day, but you know that I was fishing as go. I have like bait on the banking because I catch a catfish with the mullet. I like bait on the running and the next one I have a chunk of mullet, decent sized mullet. I go and cast my next rod, some artificial, a funnel a jig. Carry it in the area, but not it doesn't mean normally so close, but you never know. My get a rogue carry it. A carangas. I go and let jigs sink sometimes, might pick up a snapper. You never know. So we have about an hour and 15 minutes again for the two hours. Keep on fishing. We have one nice fish. Hopefully get a couple more. Right? Keep fishing, fish on. I see some swells past we just know I know where it come from. But if I see it, I get scared, but my head was down fixing line. Water's still looking good. I think I have a big ship pass or something. Sun is shining. So we're gonna keep on fishing. Fish on. Hi right, guys, something monstrous, just take this line. How to be a stingers. You see that skate off. That thing is the live bait has already so long. That thing skeet off like fire, but it coming all way. Stingers don't really come so quick. 
but uh, yeah, but it's pulling real hard. And there's only 10 pounds this. There's no setting back over my next small rod, somehow the hook from it gone. My god. I mean, most likely these are stingers, right? But they're yeah, treated like a good fish, right? I don't know what a fish could be so big in the shallow here. Well, any whole kayak. Okay, let's bring him up and get back my setup. Ideally, it could be a win win. We can see where it is. The lines get off like a rocket, yo. Yeah, you see, no, no. This was the little pin fish that was out there for so long. So long that bait out there. And I was just making about this next line here because somehow everything cut out from it. Main field, nothing pulled, the drag was slack. Wrap it up to check the bait, everything gone. I don't know if it was an eel or what it was. But the drag was real slack. So I don't understand how that happened. I really wish I could get back my setup. Or line line setup on this line. It would be real hard if it was asking us though, but it's asking us. Try and force him a little bit, but because I don't want to waste too much time fighting it. I also want to get back my setup. So that kind of catch 22 situation. No, I know for sure he's asking me. I mean, there's nothing else other than that. It's always the danger with live bait. Alright guys, I'll take off the camera because the battery here, I don't want to waste it as well. If it come close, I'll pay back one. Alright guys, it's another update. Pressure. All the lines, boss. This line, the rod line behind me, I don't know, somehow it was just cut. The drag was slack, it had a piece of mullet in there. Pull up, everything gone. Line just cut. Well, the stingray bossy line, I couldn't fight him any longer. It's taking too long. And then, well, this line had to set over before. So, we set about three lines. The thing is, I'll bring none of my kayak gear. So, I know small swivel, limited small sinkers, so that I couldn't set up on running lines again. Up on a bank in here with a big hook to put the chunk of mullet on the caster, up a knocker rig. That's all I can handle swivel. And well, it's a banking rig on the small road over there. So we're about uh, maybe 45 minutes again. We have about five or six live bait again and a couple pieces of mullet. Me and using none of the old bait as yet, might try to throw it out now to make some fresh. See if we get one or two more fish. I mean, the first fish we catch, real best, but after that, Stingray, catfish, no bites, but see how it goes. 45 minutes to catch a fish or two again. Just throw this stuff piece of shrimp, guys. Something take it as soon as it dropped down to the bottom. Didn't feel too big. Didn't take like a catfish, but it is a catfish. The shrimp, that is what will happen, but currently no one bait, so no choice. I'm gonna try it for about. Five or six rows. If it's five or six catfish, well, we could go back to the library to have we have left. Slime on the back. Guys, following on from the last catfish, I catch a couple more. Didn't want to go pro. Can't show how fast they're biting with the shrimp as bait. So it really make sense to fish with the shrimp. I mean, you always have a chance of a redfish finding it there, but I have so much catfish down there right now. That is the challenge. Alright, we we'll probably now touch the bottom there and give it 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 
two, one, bytes, bytes, bytes. Come on, take it fast for my catch you and show you the camera, it's only catfish down there. The wee camera shine now, no? Flame. Alright, that catfish rough. Next time I put on the camera, I get something other than a catfish. Oh, high hopes, but yeah, guys, so that is what's going on there with the shrimp. Every time you drop. Come down there, buddy. Right, so go and pull back on to live bait on this spanking line because there's hundreds of these guys down there right now. Just saw this rod get a little dip here in the live bait here, guys. So, last five minutes of fishing here. Yeah? Had to be vigilant. Never know, we get one fish to go with again. First fish, boy. That thing get me excited for the day, but after that. <laughs> Nice fishing, yes. I'll leave it that two minutes. Hopefully, something tries to pull it in the water. I was just jigging with this by the time. Right, is this play with it? Could be a small fish killy live bait on this. Oh my god! Something just take the jig, guys. What the hell is this? This can't be a bad fish. What is this? Forecasting right by mistake. Using real light drive because the hooks on the jig not very good. This can't be asking my hook by mistake. It wasn't real hard to be anything else. So. The jig was on the bottom, so maybe. See where it is, bro. Coming up. Rather easy to be a stinger. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. You know, hold this fish. Let me hold this fish. Oh my god. Oh my god. On the jig! Holy sh... I'm shaking! I'm shaking! I'm literally shaking, guys. I am shaking. On the jig. The Coast M prototype jig. I can't... I don't know what to do. I am shaking. I'm gonna buy extra. Gripping this fish. This probably is the biggest Waliak Catch on the kayak This line was getting a bite but My goodness I just showed you this fish Somehow I ain't taking it off the jig I just go and slack and drag The 
You think pull so hard? I thought those are stingray dread. What the hell? What the hell? On the jig, eh? On the jig, eh? Guys, this is a jig I've been testing out to bring down soon. Look the thing there on the jig. On the jig. One. 18 inch. This is a monster redfish. One, nine, 18, 19 inch redfish. My god. Nine, 18, 18. <laughs> that is unbelievable. I literally dropped the jig to the bottom because I was gonna bite on this next rod. Pick it up and drop it back down. As I drop it back down, I just feel like I hook something. My God. Look at this beast. Look at that. So every time I come out here, I go and jig the same jig. Look at this beast now, boy. Damn. Ah. I'm shaking, I'm shaking, I'm shaking. All right. I'll take a five more jig and rock up and go inside. I thought that sting right thing pulling so hard. Hey, that is unbelievable. That catch right there. That is my fish for the year. I hardly fished this year. <gasps> Look at this thing. Look at that thing. I'm trying to sort of this line. But it's alright. That is alright, Tapa. Yeah. Alright guys, one last shot. The jig in the mouth. Alright guys, one last shot with the jig in the mouth. Go and take him off. Check out more. Head inside. Beautiful fish. Alright guys, I calmed down a little bit. The jig. Kosem jig. I'm organizing it. The hooks. It's the only little thing a problem with it is not the strongest hooks as I was telling if to bring it or not, but it popped for that. It kinda of bent out a little bit. Where's our micro jig? Is to get small fish. That ain't too small, bro. That is the best fish I ever catch. Well, on artificial on the kayak for sure. Probably contesting to be the biggest wally. Well, I feel like I catch one or two bigger. But it's a monster. And on the jig. I really thought it was a stinger or something. I played real. I slacked the drag. I fight it. I didn't want to take any chance again because I guess on the jig. But bro, 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 bro. Bro, I can't get him up. I have the, I have him in the stringer and the fish grips because I don't want him to get away at all. I was ready to go in, so I'm gonna take five minutes, go and jig this five minutes again. It worked once, so I'm gonna try it again, trying it all day and see what happens. Five minutes to catch the next fish. My day can't get better. I mean, it could get better, but couldn't ask for better. After the struggle, beautiful fish. Alright guys, so that racks it up. After that fish, I take a five minutes to jig again. Five, maybe ten minutes because I mean it's an amazing catch. Had to try it for a bit again. Check this fish. One more look at this monster. That is a sweet fish. That is a sweet fish. That is a sweet fish no matter where you're fishing, right? Kayak on the jig. Amazing if you have one of my best catches ever. Let's go on here now. I have lunch and dinner. I might cook. Not sure if I'm cooking for lunch or for dinner. So, mission accomplished. I get my lunch and dinner. Fresh fish to eat for the first time in a long time. Now, if I go make it for lunch or for dinner, we go see. But I get two nice quality fish to eat. First one, me and my wife could share that. The second one, we could eat it from that twice. Real nice fish. So, if you guys enjoyed this episode of Coastal Fishing, I love the kayak fishing. Love to come out here and relax. Catching fish is a bonus. I was real happy with that catch. So, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Remember, always keep fishing. Fish on. Alright, guys, I just want to show you. See, tip of your mouth there, right? Zero. Just at 18, 18 inch lane snapper. 17 and 3 quarter are going to be critical, but damn. This one ain't too bad either. Beautiful catch on the kayak. I won't clean them up, cook them in a little later. Okay guys, so we're back home. This is the smaller of the redfish. Gonna make a quick cook, bake him. We have the fish, we have some barbecue seasoning, some avocado oil, some sweet pepper, tomato, onion, and a little barbecue sauce with some honey and some avocado oil mixed in. So we're gonna make a oven baked barbecue fish. 
first time eating fresh fish in a while. Had a successful mission today. And that monster catch, that make my year. Right, so this is one is about nine, this one's about 14 inches. It's gonna make a couple of slits for the knife, season them up well, stick them in the oven, and that'll be my meat for my dinner. So let me show you how quick I go and do this. I'm gonna show you the whole cooking process. Big fish is big fish. So we're just gonna slit them, season them up with the dry seasoning first, stuff them with the veggies, and we're gonna put some of the barbecue sauce all over, wrap them in foil, bake them for about 25 30 minutes. Should be good to go. So after you make these slits, you're gonna throw some of the barbecue seasoning on both sides of the fish, rub it in generously. I mean, both sides have to be completely covered, that seasoning tastes real good. Then you're gonna spray some avocado oil both sides again. After you do that, you're gonna take some of the barbecue sauce mix that you have and paste on the fish. Both sides again, rub it all over, make sure it's well coated. And, and after you keep in rubbing it, it should look something like this. Yeah, that's it there, and you can see all the veggies stuffed inside the fish. I don't know if it's a Caribbean thing or a Trini thing. We like to stuff our fish with veggies, but it make it taste real best. Check it out right there. That burger was wrapped in foil, and you take it and put it into the oven at 350 for about 30 minutes. Depending on the size of the fish, this one took just about 30 minutes and came out perfect. Into the oven it goes, and boom, you have a nice big fish. Should just about be done. Let's check the eye. Ooh, steam. Ah, it's completely white. That indicates a cooked fish. Mm. Alright guys, finished product. Just a quick taste. Full dinner, not ready just as yet. Check the beautiful white meat. It's all hot. Smell that. Habit snapper, you know. Like flaky, moist, delicious. Fresh as you can get to swim in the pretty couple hours ago. Catch and cook. Better keep fishing. Catch your fish, cook your fish, fish on.